Oh, hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy, the Keto Warrior, Ooh, JJ Sampson, Julius, Jerry Sampson, Julius Sampson, the modern day Caesar, the Pharaoh of Phoenix. <laughs> It's Coffee Talk in the morning, Keto Coffee Talk in the morning, boom, because we're always keto, because I'm the keto warrior, and I want you to get on that ketogenic diet, I'm going to promote it, I am the evangelist, the keto evangelist, I want the world to be on keto, if we could go through and burn all the carbs, burn them down baby, burn them down, we run into all those sugar shops and just do an old school style. We Instead of burning books, we're burning carbs. We're burning Twinkies. We're burning chips. We're burning all that stuff just so that way we can save our children. Do it for the children, baby. Do it for the children. <laughs> Boom. Join the war. Join the resistance. It's all about keto. It's all about staying healthy. And it's all about spreading the news about uh, uh, good health and uh, keeping everybody fit and all that good stuff, all that good jazz. But today, we're going to talk about something special because um, I kind of got into an argument with this dude, all right? And it, what's, what, what makes me laugh is that I don't know why I get into arguments with people that don't look phenomenal. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, how you going to tell me, how you going to give me advice when you ain't even practicing what you preach. And, I mean, like, your physique, it ain't even that great, you know? I weighed 250 pounds, okay? Now, uh, you might not be able to tell this uh, on the little screen that you're watching, but that's pretty big. I mean, it's not 300 pounds, you know, but 6'1", 250 pounds, you know, I'm, I'm you know, you're seeing cuts, you're seeing, you know, ripples, and it's just going to get more cut and more cut because I've only been doing uh, keto for about a month now, you know, and I've been, I was, I was doing like that vegetarian for six months but prior to this, and I got fat, okay, so now I'm getting rid of all that body fat, and it takes time to get rid of body fat, it's just not like overnight, a lot of people think it's overnight, but anyway, I got into this argument with this dude and uh, he was telling me all about all the science, all the science and science. And I said, listen, experience destroys science. Hey, let's be real. Experience destroys science. Yeah, sure, science is cool. You know, it's cool to know how things work and stuff. And, but let's be honest. I know a lot of people in the gym that because science tells them to do an exercise a certain way, I, I, you know, it, it's not it's not really science. It's more like you know, bro science. But anyway, uh, a lot of people are like, oh, this is. Uh, I watched this video and all the you see all these YouTube channels, right, where it says science based, or they got these videos that say, oh, I'll tell you how to get big arms, science based, and then you got a guy who doesn't have big arms <laughs> telling you how to get big arms. It's like, what? You know, I don't care what science you. You think you know, okay? I've been a personal trainer for uh, 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 over 10 years. I mean, longer than that. I've been lifting weights since the beginning, since uh, since I went to junior high and I found that Arnold Schwarzenegger encyclopedia and I stole it. Sorry, Shepard Junior High. I, I should bring it back to you, but I lost it. <laughs> But anyway, I took it and I never returned it because I liked it. Anyway, but yeah, that was a good book. But ever since then, you know, not everything that in that book was solid gold, you know. Arnold Schwarzenegger Encyclopedia of Bodybuilding was great. But the experience that I've learned since then, since then, training people, learning from my own particular body, you know, that is more uh, important it's experience. It's called street knowledge. It's knowledge, baby. You got a lot of like newbies or like, oh, this is this, this is that. You got a lot of girls powerlifting. Like they have no business powerlifting. You know, a lot of girls are like, you know, it's like, you know what? You're gonna you're gonna screw your knees up. By the time you get 40, you're gonna have screwed up knees. 
okay? Your body's going to be totally imbalanced because powerlifting is just, you, you think that deadlifting is the end-all, be-all, okay? You're making your waist huge, okay? You're making your inner thighs huge. You're not getting your quads, okay? Your butt isn't growing that much from doing all those deadlifts. And you got, it's just like, you know what? Slow down, slow down. And learn from some people that have the experience, okay? Don't just pick up a weight because uh, you can pick up a weight, right? It, there's there's got to be a reason for it. There's got to be a purpose, okay? Don't just pick it up just to say you picked it up, okay? Don't just do exercises just because everybody else is doing the exercises. Find somebody. Find a trainer. Find a guru. Find a catagenic warrior, Ooh, sage of the Southwest to train you, to teach you the right way, okay? You need a Jedi master, okay? That's me. <laughs> Catagenic Jedi master, bodybuilding Jedi master. It's all about aesthetics and purpose. You can spend your whole uh, doing all kinds of different things and you're like, man, I'm not getting the gains that I want. Man, I'm not getting the results that I want. And that's because, you know, you're, you're doing it on your own or you're listening to somebody that you shouldn't be listening to. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of the girls out there listening to other girls that really don't know much about lifting. I'm just saying. And a lot of the guys are listening to a lot of these uh, so-called gurus on YouTube and they ain't even gurus you know they ain't even gurus you know you see them in person and they're like 160 pounds and that's your guru 160 pound dude I don't know you need somebody bigger than that I mean go to the bodybuilders go to the top you know go to the top that's what I do Anyway, experience is more important than science. So, boom. J.J. Sampson, the ketogenic warrior preaching to the choir. Get strong, get motivated. What's your motivation? Leave it in the comments below. Let me know. And uh, we're going to keep getting bigger and stronger and better and building our community and saving lives. Because that's what it's all about. It's all about saving lives. If you have family or friends that are sick and you want them to get healthy, put them on a ketogenic diet. You'd be surprised. If you feel like your immune system isn't strong, get on the ketogenic diet. You'll be surprised. You'll have a strong immune system. What? Yeah. That's right strong immune system but that's from keto keto immune system is stronger than any other immune system anyway subscribe to the channel and we'll talk later <laughs>